Hello and Happy New Year and thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. It's been nearly two years since I got my Toolkit Discovery 330 and I've got no regrets so far. Just like any new boat or kayak, it takes a few trips out before you realise how you want the boat setting up for your particular style of fishing. So along with the early modifications I did, which I did a video about a while back, I've since done a few more after quite a few trips out. We start at the back of the boat. Originally I made these up out of some PVC tubing. Just a bit of plywood with the two tubes on and they had to go either side of the engine on the transom to put the rods in. I didn't initially know how they were going to work out, so I didn't paint them and I just used these old uh, all metal G clamps to put them on, which obviously didn't look very good and prone to rust. So I then went down and I bought some all plastic with stainless steel screw thread G clamps. Looks a lot better and it isn't going to corrode or rust. So they're easy enough to put on, just drop them in like that and put the little G-clamp on and obviously they'd be removed quickly cost buttons to make and they're quite secure for the rods the pump that came with the boat is now attached to the rear of this new box which my father-in-law's made for me it's very similar to the front box which I showed in an early video but it's that little bit higher I find that sitting on the seat, the bench seat that comes with the boat. My thighs are quite high, which makes your legs bent and a bit uncomfortable. So this is a little bit higher and my legs won't be as bent. Box is held in place by black inch webbing and cam buckles. The same as the front box, which has got quite a bit of adjustment on the, on the strap. So I can move the box and lock it into place forward or back from where it is now. I'm still using the front box that uh, my father-in-law made for me with obviously the Samsung tablet with Navionics on, the old faithful fish finder. That's just a hand that I put on as a bit of a grab handle. And inside, again, quite a bit of storage. The battery box is still Velcro to the inside with a USB port there for charging camera batteries or the tablet if it gets low. I've added a Scotty mount, which I'm going to have a go at trolling with, see how that works out. And there's obviously the original Galaxy Kayak ball mount there, which I mount the GoPro boom on. I still have the tray at the back, which is ideal for gutting fish, filleting fish, baiting up any messy jobs or anything where you need to do any cutting. It can all be done there quite safely and it keeps the boat clean. I extended the fuel line for the fuel tank so I get it re up front in an area of the boat I don't really use and also keeps a bit of weight up forward again secured in by inch webbing and straps during a day's fishing I always end up with old rigs bent hooks tangled line so on and so forth and they always end up scattered around on the deck so I've got a couple of these X Army canteen holders. I'll put a link in the description down below. And they're ideal for putting all stuff like that in, even your phone. And what's ideal for as well as uh, spare weights to save me opening the box up every time I lose something, which is quite often on the ground I fish. So this whole area now where my feet go is free, free from clutter. No fuel tank, nothing lying around. A lot more tidier.
Last year I just made this simple tiller extension, again out of PVC pipe. I hadn't painted back then and I was sitting on the tube of the boat only with no rear seat in. It worked out quite well, but I want to be able to sit, sit central on my new box. So I've painted it up, looks a bit better, and we'll give that a go this year and see how it works out. If it does, I might buy a, a proper one. I have done a couple of earlier setup videos, which I'll add as end screens, which should come up while I'm talking now. 2022 was a very busy year for me. I didn't get out fishing half as much as I wanted to. So stick with me and hopefully 2023 will be better and I'll get out there more often. See you later.